It's been a while since your boy been live. Let's talk. Got some stuff to talk about. Anybody in the house? Is anybody in the house? Y'all see I'm trying to watch wrestling and pass on some informaciones freely without these people trying to ban me. Will the post office eventually be all robots? You know, it was going on too shape. Honestly, um, I was looking up some stuff the other day because, you know, knowledge is key. I was uh, looking up and if you guys get a chance, look it up. The Swiss post office, Swiss post office inside of those post offices are so futuristic. It'll blow your mind. They have all electronic boxes in there. It looks like a store and their dream or according to their plan, almost sounds like Postmaster General. Yeah, you got to check it out. I was going to do a whole article on it, but I didn't have enough pictures and not enough information about it. Uh, Naptown, we in here. Where's Naptown at? I don't know where Naptown is. Let me pass on a little bit of information. I snatched up off some stuff. Uh, it's helpful to some people. Stick with me. Somebody was asking about, oh, Indianapolis. Ah, no, I don't got nothing on there. Update. Although he put out a statement for the for the carriers, he did put out a statement uh, a few days ago. Had nothing to do with your pay. Nothing. It's on your actual website. So if you go on your union website, you could check that out. Um, people were asking about the post office uh, health benefits plan. I'm so out of it right now. But they were asking what insurance companies are actually going to be on there. Because, you know, what it is, is there's a, a mother company, basically, they all buying into or bidding to get underneath the post office. <clears throat> so I have a couple of names that they have accepted so far. Not making this stuff. Laredo, Texas. Boy, Laredo, Laredo. I got some stories about Laredo. Cling, cling. Yeah, Laredo, Texas. Lord have mercy. Border town. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. Y'all know I ain't got my damn glasses. Y'all excuse me. I don't know why I'm trying to read without my glasses. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So there's a couple of carriers that are out there. Aetna. Aetna. Aetna, three of them, APWU, Blue Cross Blue Shields, Capital Health Plan, Care First Blue Choice, Government Employees Health Association, Employee Organization, uh, Government Employees Health Organization, Identity Benefit Plan, Health Alliance Plan of Michigan, Health Partners, Hawaii Medical Service Association, Independent Health Association, Kaiser Permanent, Colorado, Kaiser Permanent, Fresno, California, Kaiser Permanente, Hawaii, Kaiser Permanente, Northern California, Kaiser Permanente, Northwest, Kaiser Permanente, Southern California, Kaiser Permanente, Washington Corps, Kaiser Permanente, Washington Optical Federal, I don't know what the hell that means, I got more back here, same thing with Georgia, Mid-Atlanta, the Mail Handlers Benefit Plan, Medical Mutual of Ohio, National Association of Letter Carriers, Rural Carrier Benefit Plan, Take Care, Triple S Salud, United Healthcare, United Healthcare Insurance Company, UPMC. That's it. All right. There we go. I got that out the way. Whew. See? It wasn't that bad. We used to have about 100. There's only about 30 names on there, though. Uh, what's going on, Colorado Springs? Colorado Springs. For those that don't know, Colorado actually has huge potato fields. This is from my truck driving days. I used to drive through Colorado, southern Colorado, and we used to pick up potatoes out of the potato fields. I used to bring them back to my state. They would clean them, wash them, sort them, and then they would bag them and put the, the label Idaho potato on them. You learn some stuff, huh? Mm. How about that? Yeah. Colorado potatoes. I got pulled over with potatoes in the back of my trailer once. 
give you some knowledge. They throw potatoes. They load them in there with a, uh, a conveyor belt on, on just balls, just all in the side of them. You wrap the trailer in plastic on the inside of them and just shoot them in there, right? And the whole trailer is just fully loaded with a bunch of potatoes. Then at the tail of it, they stack a bunch of bags and sacks of potatoes in the back. And driving from one spot to the other, obviously, it's going to start rolling back. So when I get to my destination, they put you on a ramp and the trail is kind of like that. And then they open up the door and then they put a hose in there. and They hose all the potatoes out into this stream of water where it starts cleaning. Here's some interesting stuff. I got pulled over and like like to say it was Mississippi. And the guys kept talking about what you got in that trailer there, boy. I was like, right, you ain't gonna open that trailer, man. You better open that goddamn door. I'm not opening that trailer. We went back and forth for a little while. And I said, man, you can sit me in the back of your car and you can open it if you want to. And that chump went and opened up the back door to my trailer and potatoes started all over. It was about two o'clock in the morning, just flowing all over the highway. This is a true story all over the road and i'm sitting in the back of his police car just laughing my ass off yeah it was probably about it had to be at least a thousand pounds of just potatoes just rolling all over the freaking highway dumbass anyway yes i've been trying to do a lot of videos lately wisconsin in the house i've been everywhere wisconsin i used to go up there to deliver uh, milk and cheese and i used to go right across to iowa to pick up the hell did i pick up I used to drop meat off to a mink farm. Yep. What no one's talking about is the RROP, Rural Rot Optimization Program. Don't know nothing about that. New Mailman Chris. What's up? <clears throat> now, Mr. Diamondstein put out a statement. New York. What's up? New York in the house. IPP meat plants. Yeah, I used to... Ugh. Anyway, he put out a statement. I want to read this statement. And it sounds like this union is actually um, starting to be more transparent, which I love because unions, they don't usually be transparent. But Federal Way, Washington. I think the angry mailman got you nervous. Me nervous? He got me nervous. That's my dog right there. He just came back off of vacation. He went on a cruise. Postal Management's Network Modernization Plan. This is from Mark Diamondstein. New Bedford, Mass. Massachusetts. I like that these new RBDs are dumpster fires. Huh? Uh, mostly driven by changing communications and advancing technology is underway. Members are legitimately concerned about its impact on jobs and service. Y'all been emailing me, telling me about them abolishing full tour bids, not just one bid, the whole tour. They abolish the whole tour bids and make people rebid on these. It's wild. They got stuff going on. Uh, when it's your time and efforts. Me? No, man. I'm just a guy reading stuff. That's all I do is read stuff. Got a little more access to stuff, but I just read it. It says, you deserve honest and fact-based assessments and perspectives from your national union leaders, whether positive or negative operational changes are not new. See, I, I said this about a year ago. For generations, much of the mail was manually sorted on trains. By the 1970s, the, rail mail, the railway mail service ended and distribution moved to fixed buildings. The advent of mechanization introduced the letter sorter. We don't want to read this. Actually, we do. Crews of 17 clerks replaced twice as many manual sorters. There were around 100,000 LSM clerks were eventually replaced with barcode and optical character readers. Today, two delivery barcode sorters operators can sort more mail in one hour than an entire LSM crew. In the 1990s, tens of thousands of clerks worked over 50 remote and counting centers. I don't know what this means. Rapidly advancing technology has become part of our daily lives. From computers, smartphones, and online shopping to emailing, texting, electronic bill paying. Massive amounts of information and misinformation are just a click away. I don't give misinformation. I make mistakes and I correct it. But anyway, while we marvel at this technological rev revolution, we should recognize that it deeply affects the postal service and our jobs. The Internet has drastically, drastically reduced mail volume, especially first class mail, historically the main driver of postal revenues. Talk about that money. 
First class mail at 2001's peak. First class letter volume was at 103 billion pieces. Last year, USPS delivered 46 billion first class letters. Even if we're successful in our ongoing efforts to restore overnight, July 2012 sta service standards, letter volume will continue to decline. This is true. Fewer letters now have stamps negatively impacting retail services. This is why they're going to the parcels, I'm telling you. In the last 20 years, the average daily delivery per address has dropped from six pieces to less than three, while e-commerce has caused a welcome increase in packages. E-commerce, parcels, that's why they're getting all these big vehicles. Finish the story, Jay? <laughs> oh, man, who would I talk to about student loan forgiveness? Isaiah, you can um, email me. I'll give you some information about that. I did have a video about it, but I, if you email me, Isaiah... Um, I will tell you exactly how to do that. My daughter's going through it. I'm still doing student loan forgiveness. I only got like 20 more payments left. That's what happens when you work for the post office. All that debt go away. The reality is that change in mail mix from fewer letters and flats to more packages results in changes to the workforce, machinery, transportation, and buildings. We cannot stop the march of changing technology. This is what they're saying. This is what the president is saying of the union. You can't stop it. Those who claim otherwise are doing you a disservice. How to make technology work for workers, such as winning a shorter work week, is a long run challenge. Management has the right to build new buildings and deploy new equipment, but they do not have the right to delay mail. Management also has the right to move employees to where they need them. That's what the president's saying but not in violation of our union contract. Through it all, we keep our eyes on the prize, a vibrant public postal service for generations to come with a good union jobs and good security. From the local level to the national level, APU will continue to unite the people and blah, 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 blah. Postal workers have faced generation of changes in technology, methods of communication, and far too much mismanagement. But here we stand, union strong. Yes, the seas may be stormy, by linking arms with each other, building unity with labor and community allies. And he's just talking a bunch of stuff. I, basically, he's saying, hang on for the ride, like I've been saying. Anyway. Oh, you were just talking about the NALC thing. I forgot I printed out something about that, too. There it is. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Monday Night Raw. Yeah, you see, I was going to do this when I was watching the... Um, the WrestleMania, but these people just, they banning everything that I put out here. So I figured I'd do one live. Let's see what other questions we got. They are abolishing bids specifically. If my bid is working on this specific machine, they're abolishing 30 people that work on it. Then they revamp that specific bid at different job duties and then have people bid on them again, which is weird. Um, somebody sent me, so I ain't got my phone. Um, somebody sent me something about one of the uh, facilities up in, don't have me lying, I believe it was in Pennsylvania or somewhere, shifting from one spot to a whole nother spot where people going to end up having to go like a hundred and, was it Pittsburgh? I don't remember. It just, people going to have to deal with this change. There's nothing we can do about that right now. Uh, my place, the people that are my position a little further south than me, they've had to move, I believe, one, two. This is going to be their third move starting tomorrow within four months from building to building to building because of all these weird changes they got going on. Uh, can't stop the march of technology still using the grooming LLV from when? 1987 when they brought on the uh, LLVs. How much percent of each check... You getting taken out for TSP. Out of mine, I do 18%. But that's just me. Not everybody can put that aside. I'm, I'm a little closer to my retirement, so I, I got to invest hard. Y'all do realize I'm going to be 50 next year. Don't let the good young looks fool you, baby. I take 10% out of mine and put it all in the C fund. Knowledge seeker. I'm going to seek some knowledge. See? We're just talking about seeking knowledge. And knowledge seeker pop up. Can't stop the march. 78. You a few years away from 50. Anyway, Brian Renfo put out this message April. 
It absolutely says nothing. It's on your website. I don't even want to waste time reading it, really. It's just talking about carriers getting robbed. and I got to watch what I say. They ain't going to ban my video. You can't say robbed or attacked. I said it. Mobile Alabama in the house. Phoenix, Arizona. Washington, oh my God, congrats, oh, Drippin' OG. Should you put Roth in the Roth or TSP? I have a certain percentage in the Rosp, Roth. Um, you have traditional and you have your Roth. You can invest in both of them and both of them are in the TSP. I don't really give um, financial advice because I, I don't live like everybody else lives. I got to go out in my car early in the morning. I got a big crank on the front and I got to crank that thing up. And then once it starts going, I push it down the hill, jump in and then go. So I don't pay a car note or nothing. <laughs> don't challenge the standards for you. What's up, Rick? Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's weird, man. You know, I, I used to like expensive things. Although I couldn't afford it, I liked them, but I wouldn't buy it. My silver and gold, hold it till it hits the moon. Yes, I heard that. Is that John Cena coming out? How's John Cena coming out? Yo? Anyway, missing my wrestling. What else did I want to talk about? Oh, man, I had this weird argument. Don't get personal. Don't get personal. Don't get offended. But I was arguing with somebody because a... I got to watch how I say this. Okay. So women's sports. Y'all know where I'm going with this, right? This has nothing to do with the post office. Women's sports and women's sports records, right? Let's just say there's a record for track and field in women's sports. I decided that I no longer want to I identify as a woman. I'm just saying for instance. And I start running track. And then I break a woman's record and beat them. Is that fair? Seriously, is it fair? Like even in, like they had a, a, a male. I'm sorry. Don't watch what I say. Even in MMA, mixed martial arts, the woman, the, you know, there's women that are fighting against women. And then there's person identifies as a woman and he went in there and just started whooping all the women i i don't think that's fair and then somebody was arguing with me and i was like i i can't see that i mean physically in most cases men are stronger why would i want to go in there and just pound on a woman it just because i identify as something i i don't know and they really was gung-ho arguing with me i i don't i don't get it i don't get it uh, yeah, there's something that's in the news right now about a person that had a world title or something for basketball, I believe, for 43 years. And then a person that identifies as a woman broke the record. But I, I don't know. Anyway, anybody want to talk about anything? Y'all got me live. I can look stuff up really quick. If I get my, um, yeah, talk to me. No, I didn't think it was fair. There are people that get offended by that, though. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Where's everybody from? People's feelings aside. <laughs> oh my God. They had a swimmer who identified, tied with a born woman, they had to share a medal. Yeah, yeah. Jose, any update on the carriers getting there? 44. Honestly, at this point, like I said, this man is, he's ducking every question. This is this is what's in the NALC. I, I don't I don't understand why he just don't get to the point. I'm talking about what they are what they're negotiating. Travel all over the country to join our brothers and sisters and events to bring public awareness to <clears throat> violent. I gotta watch what I say. Violent attacks being unleashed on our members by criminals. The situation sickens me nearly every day. I learn of a carrier who's been a, robbed, attacked, beaten. Sh mm -hmm. Only reason I can't read this because they censor everything. You know, they took my video down with my son in it. I had to go through like writing them to manually review. My son was in here 
doing the video with me and they took the video down because I was showing video clips that I found on YouTube. It's crazy. I can't win here. A woman is a dog. Uh, Bronx in the building. I mean, 179th and West Burnside. Yes, we definitely need more transparency. Um, and you know what's real is that as much smack as I talk about with all these unions, there has been two that have been coming to the forefront. That's been the rural carriers that have been speaking about it and the APWU that have been coming forward. Haven't heard much from the mail handlers um, and definitely the National Association letter carriers. They're just ducking, I guess. Um, and I believe that APWU has realized that it's more helpful just to acknowledge the fact that they don't have all the information and say, look, we don't have all the details yet, but this is what we have so far versus having people watch me to Try and dig up information. Uh, Jay using the old in inertia starters. What's the daily drive on the old 49 Federal? Ho, 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 ho. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's funny. No, I, I got an old vehicle. I, I, and that's my choice. That's just my choice. I keep saying I want to buy an electric vehicle, but I want to see how this plays out. Like the LLB starter new delivery service competing with USPS. Uh, hell no. Any word when they rolling out the new NGDV trucks? Okay, so May, we're in April. May, DSIs from all over the country, driving safety instructors from all over the country are going out to Oklahoma and they're going to get trained on the specs on the NGDV, which means shortly after they will start dispersing them. So I'm assuming, <clears throat> um, I guarantee by Christmas, they're going to be in spurts all over the country. That I'm sure of, because they wouldn't waste the money to grab one DSI, driving in straight safety instructor, from every single district in the country, fly them out there to train them, if there wasn't something that I don't know behind the scenes. That I do know. So I'm going to... Y'all take me to the bank on this one. By December of the latest, there's going to be spontaneous spurts of them. Uh, I agree with the carriers getting more money, but if they get more money, mail handlers more as well. Mail handlers do deserve more. At the plan I work two tours, uh, uh, they're killing us carriers with this undertime, making us work extra saying it can be done in a lot of amount of time. And one route with two routes worth of work. Whew. Oh, no. Oh no! See that that's a that's a hard one. Um, so with the carriers, I gotta play devil's advocate. Uh, you know, I've spoken to my daughter. She does the route in the allotted amount of time. Okay, she doesn't go slow. She doesn't go super fast, and she gets it done with just enough time for her lunch and everything else. Then you have the new people that come in. Speedy. There was a little clip I saw somebody speeding through a route, and when they do that or they put that person on a route two days out the week or whatever, then management tends to expect the regular career to move at that pace. Now, if the regular career says, look, I need to make at least three, four hours of overtime per week, that's what they're going to do. They dictate how much they're going to get in overtime, at least. We know the game. Unfortunately, management knows the game too. They take all the specs from my EIN number and they say this person by every year gets I don't know I'm just going to throw a number at least a uh, thousand hours of overtime a year so we know that when this person is doing this specific route so they, they, they take all of those factors and they use analytics and they run them and they say well this person does the same exact route and they're doing it in less time so that's how you guys get screwed uh Bronx Sun Nine Grand Concourse. Okay. I gotta slide up there and grab me some pizza. I gotta go see my parents. I'll be up in New York in uh, October. My brother's getting married. I'm a clerk for nine years now. APWU has news? Absolutely. I just read it. You go on their website. I just, this is it. I just pulled certain articles that I felt like is good by Mark Donnerstein. But like I said, they're being very transparent. And anybody that's on, that's watching me, go on the APWU website. 
because they do have a survey. It's not specifically for uh, people underneath the APWU. And the survey is asking people what they'd like to see, what changes, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's imperative that you do. Go on there, see what questions they're asking. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I got a new route, but I lost my van for an FFV. Hmm. They're doing that as well. They're analyzing the routes and they're saying, okay, well, this person, um, this route requires a ProMaster. So whoever's going to, and man, I go out to these places and train these people on ProMasters. They lose their damn mind. They don't like it. Why colas are so low? It's always kind of been that way. You know, they tell you your cola is X amount of dollars or whatever it is. But when you actually look at it and you actually tack on. It's people fight. I got it. I'm watching my wrestling through my camera. Um, what lie was I telling? Cola so low, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Colas. It's just the fact that when people get these colas and you go on a website, you actually see how much you're getting per year. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, between the colas and the um, the raises for APWU, it came out to almost eleven or twelve thousand dollars in like a three year period, which is nothing to sneeze at. It really ain't. Um, but you just got to they break it up into so small that you really don't get to see the difference, I guess. Small increments. Uh, LOV is the best. They should keep that style in mind. Da da da. From Georgia, have the bill made and allow regulars to buy back three years of time. I wish. No. Shit, they tell me I could buy back my time. Boy, y'all ain't gonna see me at the post office no more. Cause I was non career for a long time. Y'all complaining about two years. Shit. Woo. All right, from Jesus. How far will the truck drivers go when they get rid of contract routes? Anything that can be done within eight hours. That I found out last week. Anything that can be done within eight hours. For instance, no, I can't give you a for instance. Um, I would say something that's like a 200 mile round trip. I'm gonna guess. Maybe 250 round trip. That's 125 each way. Probably a little bit more. Um, that takes into account the work that's involved in it going to, you know, different facilities. That I did find out. Fill out a text scan and later you will be back on. Carriers need the contract to be ratified. Just so you guys know, they usually take, even when they start doing these contracts, remember, every single time the contract is due, it usually takes them eight, nine, ten months before they actually have a final contract. And then we always argue, look back at my videos, we always talk about when we gonna get our back pay, when we gonna get our back pay. It's just part of their negotiation process because the post office is pushed back, the union pushes back. This time, I really don't know why the NALC is doing what they're doing. I think it's because they have so many routes and things that are changing on their end. Uh, an assistant. I'm an assistant real character. And they say everything should be done in about five hours, but the combined routes is impossible. Huh. You're, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that they ask us to do is impossible. They tell me go to a station, unload a full trailer, GPCs full of DPS, and say, oh yeah, you could unload that trailer, reload, you get to your stop, unload it, reload it with empties, you should be done in 17 minutes. I'm like, in what life? By the time I get to the stop, I gotta scan it, and then back into the spot, you scan everything as you taking it off. Leave people crazy. You just go, you go at your pace. That's how you do it. Good checking in with you on a live show first time. Go to bed to this all over again. No question, Miss Collins. I'm up at 3.30 in the morning, air morning. Lack of clerks are hurting some offices. <sighs> I don't see them hiring clerks too many places. I really don't. You're not supposed to use the regular. They are supposed to use the regulars time, not anyone else. That's how the post office gets so screwed up. Is anyone on zero overtime policy? I believe this is the time of year because everything is so slow that they are pushing that zero overtime policy. And the policy, so you guys know, is your supervisor says, all right, no overtime. And that's because their manager told them to do that.
because their manager told them, this is the amount of overtime we, we can afford, less is more. We don't have the mail volume to justify somebody working overtime. So that's why they put that statement out there. And then when somebody sneaks overtime a little bit, that's when you get pulled into the office and say, why do you take so long? It's just weird. Yeah. It's just the way of the post office. Has anyone been on zero overtime? How long have you been with the post office? I started in 2011. Uh, JH, the old timer that retired on my new route, declined a van when they asked everyone. Can I hit a VMF to get one? No, you can't. It has to be um, assigned to your route. It has to be assigned to your route. Now, the reason they declined those um, Pro Masters is because they're death traps. If you try to get out on, because it's a regular left-hand drive vehicle, left side, yeah, left side vehicle, when they get out, and they're not supposed to get out on the driver's side, they're supposed to get out on the passenger side, they always end up falling. Because that damn emergency brake, they'll trip and fall. And it's, I, Jose, trust me, our regular T6 is being held up with packages because the postmaster refuses to get help. There are some offices that have this. It's not all over the country. Because there's some offices that have more than enough help, but then you have people that don't want to work. The algorithms are in my people, and I can see the clowns pecking at the keyboard. Yep, at my plant, they rotate giving PSCs one week off. What? Every other week, it was funny on Sunday night, management called PSCs like they want to call like nurses. Ah, yeah, right. <laughs> y'all ain't got to answer your phone when you home. They make y'all believe like, you home run me? Shit. Jay, do you ever get pulled over and let Benny drive? <laughs> Who's Benny? And, and let Benny drive. I don't drive trucks anymore. I just train. But um, when I used to drive over the road, um, I used to take my kids on the road with me. I'd be out for three, four weeks at a time. And I'd get out the driver's seat and let my son go down the highway, you know, two hours on the road, keeping in the road. They all, they all can shift gears, unlike, real, unlike these fake truck drivers to now. And if, you're, if you don't know how to shift gears, don't take no offense to it. But we used to drive real trucks back in the days, not these automatics. All right, uh, sounds about right. That means when I'm doing two years, the contract is up. That's sad to know. Whole two years? That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to do a whole two years as a CCA. Something can change between then and now. Man, I pulled over to say, it takes what it takes. They hate you when they say that, but that's the truth. True. It's impossible not to get overtime when we don't have clerks and postmaster comes in to help scan packages. Shit. Yo, Jay, we always talk and save the post office. My question, why? Why? What are we saving? Letters have become a non-factor. Express mail is a failure. Certified mail isn't accountable. What are we doing? I don't know, Rico. You tell me. I, you know me and you, uh, we personal. <laughs> Rico has been on here before. That's my homie. Oh, man. You want to get logistical. You need to come and just sit down and talk with me one day, man. People love when you talk. Everything is not slow, and RCA learning other routes is between months, and I did not have coverage. I don't know where slow is coming from. It depends on your area. It depends on your area where things are slow. Because um, in my area, and I live in a big city, it's slower than the city that's 80 miles away from me. So it depends on the volume in your area. I start at 7.30 a.m. I get off today at 7.30 p.m. Not having clerks is damn near guaranteed overtime. Pick your pace up, Stephen, okay? Eight hours, fellas, eight hours. Ladies, too. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm also like, we're not saving my job because I'm not looking for a new one. You gave me too much work, so I'm not I'm doing my best, though. That's all you do. Do your best. What robots do you see where you work at? Uh, are you Me? We have, um, we have all the old robots. I don't have anything new there. Our plan gets everything old. Now, a little further south than me, they have uh, some of those new, um, I showed them before. They look like these small tables that are robotic and they dump the mail and all that stuff, uh, automated by themselves. Um, not a personal problem, a scheduling problem. Management can't get it right. Woo, woo, woo. 
Boy, Rico know what he talking about. Boy, I ain't even gonna get this warm. Yeah, see the heartbeat nowadays. I didn't know you old enough to remember Benny. Then comes in a pill bottle. Oh, ooh, ah, mm. high speed chicken feed. Since I'm hitting about fifty, I'm going to sleep. You're not. You're not even my age yet. Knowledge seeker. Good night, dear. Don't know if I missed the info on but where were the layoffs spoken of? I'm in Michigan. I've been hearing about it as long as five years. And apologies if this was ready colored. I think. Was it Michigan? I, I honestly, I don't have my phone with me. Wait a minute. Mm, can't pull it up on my computer either. But I, it might be Michigan. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Talking about. Where are you at on seniority list? Are you talking to me, Adam? I'm in, I'm in a detail. Well, not a detail. I have a different position. There's only three of us in my area, so I don't, I don't have to uh, bid on anything. I'm just a trainer. That's all I do. Very long story. I'm 49, dealt with mental anguish. That's so bad, yeah, I can proud from, but I've been stonewalled. Uh, to the RG, need to answer the phone when you deliver and talk to them when you get back to the office. This is true. You always, it's your phone. At the end of the day, this is your phone. Especially when you're carrying. You're carrying mail and you're driving. It is never safe. It's never safe to answer your phone. I see it all the time. I'm driving and I see the carrier next to me and they got their phone to their ear. It's really never safe, honestly, because the classes that we give, we have accidents. These are all just accidents of carriers and it's usually them not paying attention, just smacking in the mailboxes and just being real reckless. And a lot of the times it's because they're forced to do things that they're not supposed to do and they just go along with it. Let me see, you don't even have the, you've been applying to MVO positions, they do have, but they keep canceling the positions everywhere. Um, I don't know what area you're in. But those are the two positions, honestly, I see sticking around for a while. Truck driving positions, MVO, PVO, um, and carriers, they're always going to be there. Um, not, not the easiest position. They're always going to be there though. Now, as far as mail handlers, I believe they're going to get bounced around a little bit. This is just all opinion and clerks is, I, I'm just getting back to back within this last week. I think I've had three people uh, reach out to me saying that bids are being abolished and tours are being completely revamped. So things are changing drastically for clerks and mail handlers. I'm not so sure yet, but I don't think that they have as many um, mail handler assistants as they used to. It's not enough space to speak my opinion in the comments. They walked me <laughs> the other day, so I got to make supervisor walk in the rain all day. <laughs> mm. Needs to adopt the pro-way carriers can help others offices they want extra hours. Yeah, bid's always up, next day gone like <laughs> 39 minutes. Y'all got me for another 10. Ish. Where the mail at? Next to nothing coming out of these trucks. Yes, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. Nothing. You and I are, my plant feeds your uh, station there, Rico. That's what I'm saying. If, now just, just think about what, I ju what you just wrote. Where's the mail at? Next to nothing coming off these trucks. That's what you wrote, Rico. <clears throat> so, if it wasn't like this last year, and they do analytics and they use data. <clears throat> There's no reason why 
the manpower hours should be the same as it was last year. Does that make sense? If last year, the manpower hours, let's just use around numbers, 20,000 for the month. No, for the week. 20,000 for the week at your station this time last year, then this today, it should not be 20,000 if there's next to nothing coming off your truck. That's where analytics come in. They do surveys of the data. So when people turn around and they say, hey, uh, I, you, you, you're coming close to your hours or more than your hours that you had last year, but the mail volume is different. How, how do they justify that? <clears throat> Jay, man, sup, chat. Hope everyone still got their eyeballs. <laughs> What's up, Yaya? New Jersey been getting swamped lately. One day, no mail. Next day, ridiculous. Is there a way to prepare for a low labor custodian interview? Yeah, just be natural. Tell them that you're going to do whatever they ask. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, no problem. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning, I'll be there. Just tell them that. Just yes them to death. That's my assumption. <laughs> I've never done it. I actually applied to be a labor custodian once. Hey, why does a station like 15 minutes away always start at 7.30 and we start at 8.30? Hmm. Volume. Volume. Be natural and honest. I'm a custodian and the carrier. Uh, be natural and honest. See, that's why the channel's here. One person asks a question, next person give an answer. So carrier dough that's up there that you guys see writing has had a very uh, rough time with the post office. Um, if anybody has information to help carrier dough, that'd be awesome. They bring all the mail to the farther stations first. I work the plant and we're always here the last one to have our mail ready. This is true. This is true. Well, they don't bring all the mail to the farther stations first in my area. Make sure not to clean the bathroom. That's how our custodians operate. <laughs> Why is management never held accountable? Actually, they are. They are held accountable. Um, management gets written up by their bosses. Managements have a union. Um, and theirs are a little more extreme than us. It, it's almost like if you think you're, if you think your supervisor's an asshole or a dick or your manager's an asshole or a dick, just know that their managers are worse um, because it's like the culture of how they are. It's just they berate people from above and they I, I don't know. I feel like this is the only way for them to move up is just be the, the worst of the worst. Just really disgusting with the attitudes. I've heard like one of my boss's boss talk to him. I'm like, he know you a grown ass man, right? You know, and that's my my opinion. I'm like, I couldn't do it. That's why I never, I couldn't do it. I cannot have these people talking to me like I'm a child. And if I'm on top, no, 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 no. And then I got somebody barking in my ear, and that's usually where the ripple effect comes from. Then they talk to the, to the workers like they trash. It's just a really bad culture because you could have somebody that's a really good worker. Five years later, they're in management. Five years after that, they become one of them. Now, I got postmasters that watch me on here and other managers and supervisors that watch me um, that I personally talk to, and they haven't fallen into that, but they're so far few in between. They really are. You know, a lot of them just get on the high horse and forget where they came from. Um, so is it that they're, they're never held accountable? Yeah, they, they, they get it worse than everybody else, I think. I mean, do they get the same consequences? I don't know. I don't know. Some of them would get, I mean, if it gets really bad and there's enough people against them, they'll take somebody that's uh, at a station B and then move them like, you know, there's no limit to where they can send them. Unlike us, where we have a certain amount of miles, they can send them who knows where. And that's where they got to go. <clears throat> so they, they get repercussions. It's just different than us. We don't have a full Amazon economy getting off the freeway seeing carriers from other stations. Samson and JH. Okay, thanks. We'll pass it along. Okay. 
Management told me they get in trouble because of us mail carriers. Um, it depends. It depends. So not all the mail carriers. So from a, I have a really, really good supervisor friend. And this guy is, he is, he's probably, he has a two mat, no, two doctor degrees. He's just, he said he never wanted to get higher than that. Um, but sometimes people will take advantage of your niceness and that's what, what ends up happening. And when the numbers don't match and they get, these are the numbers you have to, and that's all they care about, the numbers, obviously. At the end of the day, they say, these are the numbers. They don't take into account the snow, the rain, the sleet, the weather, the vehicles breaking down. They say, these are the numbers, meet them. And no matter what happened that day, tornado hit. They don't care. They don't care. And they just, they, I don't know. I got to watch what I say. <laughs> um, then they'll turn around and they'll say, you know, if some of you guys did better, then they wouldn't get a... Uh, and they wouldn't get berated. They get berated pretty bad. Like I said, I've heard it from different areas. You know, I got people in different areas. And I, I couldn't do it, man. I just, I couldn't do it. I was off the clock walking out. A senior manager called me. I'm, what? Woo a senior manager. <laughs> I just said, all right. <clears throat> mm -mm. No, let me watch what I'm saying. It's a shame I got to be careful. I'm going to figure out when they start letting me do lives on Rumble. What's supposed to happen when they falsify clock rings? If you can prove that they falsify clock rings, which you can. I'm not going to get into that. Um, you can speak to your union rep. Your union rep will get the uh, information. And if it continues to happen, you report it to the OIG. Office of the General. Yeah, that's what happens with my... Um, well, my daughter, I was dead ass serious. Like, you've been doing this for a year. They force you to punch out. So she wasn't technically, uh, they weren't technically falsifying it. They were forcing them to uh, punch out a six and have them continue working. And I was like, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. The new supervisor, I'm only six months in as a mail carrier. They should put at least five years in. I agree. I agree. They know who to talk to like that. Being professional is mandatory. Check that every time. We're all adults. That part. It rolls downhill. I wish I could tell them the truth. Rico, they've been banning my videos. I don't know if you just joined it, Rico. I had my little man on here yesterday or the day before. We did a video and they, they banned it. Oh, kind of silliness. We have good. We, have, we, we definitely have some good management out there. They don't like your behavior. I, it ain't my behavior. Uh, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> we get 85, but you have to keep filing grievances on it. Why is there very little transparency with the contract negotiations? Unlike the UPS and Auto Workers Union. Well, I'm not sure if you just got in here, Dub, but um, this is what they've been doing. Now, I'm not sure what craft you're in, but I believe that they're sort of paving the way, UPS, with the Teamsters. They're just really out there. I mean, they're bullies. I love it. <laughs> but, um, you know, Diamondstein, is, he's coming around. You know, people are like, oh, yeah, well, why are we going to support, you know, uh, UPS and auto workers when we don't even know what you're talking about. So I believe that somebody got in, you know, APWU's ear and said, hey, be more transparent with them. Uh, they did that with the rural carriers because at one time, if I'm not mistaken, they were trying to get rid of the rural carrier union altogether. And now they're putting out information, which is good. Now the other two unions, I don't know. I don't know. I can't see anything on the mail handler unions page. They're very tight-lipped about it. Um, and the National Association of Letter Carriers, they just put out blanket statements about nothing. So they have a monthly newsletter. It's kind of weird. I have a hot car and an Uber outside. I don't need no snot nose pump until I'm going to do my job. Hyping UPS up helps us because we can point their pay. Now, the thing with that if you don't realize when it comes down to UPS, yeah, they did get higher pay, but at what price? 
we're going to give you this, but we're going to take away this. And I did make some videos about this and told you guys that um, they were going to be cutting people. So initially they said, oh, no, it was just management. No, because I got UPS people that are coming over to USPS to come work now because they got let go. They got let go. The, the ones that were lower on the totem pole got totally let go. The people that were there for a long period of time, yeah, they got that nice chunk of money. But then everybody, now just imagine that you've been working there two, three years and you getting accustomed to good money and you one day you come in and say, yeah, that's it. You're like, what you, what you mean that's it? Especially in this day and age, this economy, and that's the hit that they're taking. <clears throat> Give this video a thumbs up. Let's go climb the ranks. There's no ranks. Jay the Godfather to, hey, I don't know if y'all see my little thing. This was sent to me. Take a look at this. This is my, this is my mouse pad. See that? Need I say more? That's a gift. That was a gift. I don't need to sit there and brag about it. I passed the information on. Y'all made me like this. Y'all did. Y'all said, you find this out, Jay. I said, I'm going to find it out for you. All I am is just being nosy. Just being nosy. I go right up to the person. Hey, tell me about this. Even my plan manager, man, you better not say nothing about none of that. I don't want to hear this on your damn show. Okay. And I respect him because if you tell me something, I ain't going to repeat it. But other people, they give me information. And I know how to translate that the right way. That's what I do. Like, I, like I, man, I'm telling y'all, I had mm, people from the NALC from up in D.C. on the phone. And this is this, this is that, this is this, this is that. And like I said, I had it on speaker and, you know, just chatting away. But they can't give too much information because if something doesn't come to fruition because of us, the postal workers, we tend to lose our damn mind. Like, Yo, whoa, hold on, cousin. You told us X, Y, Z. Now, the person that I spoke with isn't the top, far from the top, but they're up there. And, you know, they're, they're, it's just a drag out negotiation thing, to say the least. You know, y'all president, Renfro is, he's got charges against him. Y'all have a, uh, Somebody else coming in, a mediator, if I'm not mistaken, to come, an uh, arbitrator to come in and try to work things out. And it's the same arbitrator y'all had a few years ago. Um, and y'all did better. So what they envision is y'all doing better. They gave a, brand, a roundabout figure, which I mentioned to you, where they said that they're trying to aim towards UPS numbers. You take what UPS numbers are, and that's what they're aiming for. Um, whether or not the post office gives into that, if they do give into that, understand there's going to be consequences. There is no doubt about it. No doubt about it. If they give into that, boy, I feel bad because I, man, half the CCA is going to have to lose something. They're going to have to. I mean, they fought to make sure that the compliments were filled. I don't know if you know what that means, the compliments. Each office, I think I explained this once before, for those that are new, a compliment says that this specific office requires 75 carriers, uh, 25 CCAs, uh, 15 rural carriers, and six rural carrier associates. That's the full complement for this specific office. And about 90% of the offices nationwide have been running underneath that complement. And obviously, it's the fat in somebody's pockets or people just quitting. But the, the carrier unions are forcing them to fill the, fill, the, um, fill the roles up, fill the books up, which in most places, maybe not your place, but most places, it's cutting back on the overtime. Go look at Nick. Look at, man, Nick, thirsty for hours. You know he's used to doing 92 hours in a week. That's my dog. <laughs> um, but now he's like, man, he only gave me 60 last week. I'm like, Nick, you need to slow down, brother. Um, so, what lie was I telling? Okay, yeah, so with all that, there are certain places that have gotten to the compliment, but now 
people ain't getting the overtime like they're accustomed to. And there are other places that people don't want to travel to. So I told you guys within these last few months, we've been training a lot of people. And now that they are training these people, they got to go to the academies. I was talking to somebody from the academy. And they were like, yeah, well, the academy typically has six to eight people per class. Well, this last class that they have only has three. Well, I know I had a ton of people. They say the people couldn't wait that long between the time that they passed the driving test and the academy. So people just quit before they even get to the academy. So there's so many different factors that go on behind the scenes. So yeah, they almost there, but then they're like, man, I, I can't sit around and wait three weeks, just go in the academy and only work on a Sunday for Amazon Sunday. So anyway, uh, well, management compliments always low ball. Rick, so the thing is, um, the station has a compliment that's set by the uh, pretty much negotiated between the union and the station. So it, it's not necessarily management. Um, the number is there. The number is there. And typically the number just goes up as communities grow. Now, management doesn't always bring everybody in, like I said. They give us a 22 pistol while we carry our around. It's so bad out here. Loving the body slams in the background. Ha 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 ha. Says they can't talk about numbers while I'm negotiating, but if I'm selling a car to you, obviously they want to know those numbers. You're trying to be negotiating. Why not be transparent about it? That is so true. We fluctuate between two to 10 CCAs. It's kind of wild. Last week, two weeks, uh, 10 CCAs. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 22 pistol where we carry our route is bad out here in Southern California. <laughs> I just picked up a toy. I don't know if I can show y'all my toy on here. Then. Gotta wonder. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Let's see what happens. Hey, ban this video. Y'all don't know why. My, oh, my area, they come by mail. We know what that is, right? You just order them in the mail. They just get delivered to your doorstep. It's another one of my little toys. She's still got the wrapper on it. Isn't she cute? It's got the little lock on there. Isn't she cute? It's pretty. Isn't she cute? Anyway, has absolutely nothing to do with the price of tea in China. Somebody said pistol. We ain't get to play with this one yet. But. <sighs> little toy, little toy. Not a toy, definitely not a toy. That's the carrier's need, boy. The carrier's running into. You don't want to get treated like a. <laughs> Stay strong, carrier, though. All right. Did I pass my 10 minutes? Started 58 minutes ago. I got two minutes left. Any more questions before we, we go? NSAA Freedom School. We already know. Okay. <laughs> you know. You know. You know. You saw that? That little. You saw that? They making some clowns and that's my next purchase, I think. Hmm. If you get a chance, going cheaper than dirt. Cheaper than dirt. That's what it's called. Website, cheaper than dirt. Damn, I can't see a damn thing. Hmm. You run into a situation being these real in the south to the money you need to carry off. Man, I feel bad for people too. And there's another thing for any of my carriers that have been there for a while. This is personal to me. My carriers, my homie clauses. When you see somebody new come into your station, a new CCA, don't come up with this made up rule that they can't wear a used uniform until they pass their 90 days. If they got a uniform sitting in the bathroom, they want to wash them and put them on, let them use them. 
Let's tell them if they don't make it, put it back in the put it back in the, uh, you know, in, in in the bathroom. But it's the ones like me that will wear a regular shirt and go knock on somebody's door to deliver something. And I'm not in uniform, which will cause somebody to say, what the hell are you doing on my porch? And unfortunately, the carriers don't get no allowance till they pass their um, probation period. So there's got to be some change there because this even even um, uh, Amazon, they give them a little vest to put on. People identify Amazon from a mile away. But UPS work, USPS workers, there's nothing within their first 120 days if they get an allowance. I remember my son had to wait almost six months. I gave him some of mine, but y'all got to stop bullying these people. If they get fired up to bring up what they were trained by someone who's not certified. Oh. And if they get fired to bring up the fact that they were trained by, hmm, to be an OJI, that's good. I didn't know that was a thing. At Amazon, they give you the best New Balance shoes and <laughs> steel tone before you start your route. Do they give it to you or do they take it out of a box? <laughs> they put it on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They give you the best New Balance shoes. Amazon, you also realize that Amazon workers, they, they only last... Two years tops. Two years tops. They have a very high turnover rate after two years. You know, get it delivered before you start. We got CCA's training. CCA's in my office. Mm. Amazon give you Zappos allowance? What is that? See? There you go. I'm a regular. I've been here almost three years and I only had one allotment. That's probably the initial one. They owe me two allotments. I don't even have my car to order anything because my postmaster's crazy. Mm. See, I learned how to do that because the last, at my place, a lot of people didn't know how to get the uniform allowance um, issued to the people. There's, they don't take the time. It, there's a lot of steps to getting a, a card issued. That sucks. I don't even know how you, you if your postmaster don't know how to do it, you're going to be... Mm. Just want to say, Zappos shoes. They had constantly have uncertified people training. This is true. Just want to say thank you for the minute that you share with us because you always keep it down in the middle, not favoring management nor crap. Thank you, John. I don't favor management nor craft. Management can't stand me if y'all don't believe me. I, they really can't. And I go in there, I try to get along with everybody um, at my place. And I get along with every supervisor at different stations. My place, they, they're a little funny. I get along with all the workers at my stations, um, as well as my plant. I get along with pretty much everybody. But there's always a couple that they see me spilling the beans. And hey, what you doing there talking there about that? I keep it real. Yeah, I keep it real. Because I see it. I see it. Go to the state, man. I hear about these male handlers not getting overtime and they all call out on the. <laughs> Yo, so I got to train a bunch of pit drivers, pit, power industrial uh, trucks. So they got all the male handlers that they want all the male handlers trained on all the pit equipment because the senior drivers that have the bids that are specifically driver bids, when they decide they want to all, you know, do the bang bang and they all call out, then they stuck, they stall the whole operation. Well, now they're forced, they, they pretty much said they want every male handler trained on pit equipment, that way nobody is putting that predicament again. But that's petty. You know what I'm saying? If you go to work, yes, overtime is great if you want it and it's there and it's available. But if there's none there, you can't get mad. I mean, like I said before, some people live off of overtime.
Don't lose your card once you get in with the bank to get a new one. This is true. I blame you. Talk to your student, follow Grammys if you are a carrier. Gang in there. Uh, Y'all speak up for yourself. Make friends with the OGs and stewards. This is true. I speak to everybody. I sp what am I missing back there? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got to speak to everybody. Don't limit yourself. Sometimes it's best to... Um, Hmm. Got to be cautious how I say this. They say keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Speak to everybody. Get as much information about the place as possible. That way you can prepare yourself. And that's real. Because if you, if you, it's not that you kiss and management ass. Obviously, we're in a place where there's structure. Find out what's going on. Hey, uh, when are they changing this? Uh, are we going to be moving soon? Um, what do you know about this? you just trying to feel out the process. Hey, you know, I got kids. If there's something changing down the road, just give, me, just give me some notice. That way I know how to alter my life a little bit. You know, you put it out there. That way you're more transparent with them. They may feel a little more privy to talk to you. And if not them, another supervisor. And it's not that you do them anything malicious. You're trying to figure out what's best for your own life. See, this is more of a life lesson here. And I've learned this through trial and error, man. Trial and error. More error than anything. He was not wearing his seatbelt. Got into an auto accident and his MIA. Hmm. I stood up for myself and paid the uh, good thing is never last forever. This is true. I know I can't DMC. Any more questions before I go? Maybe, possibly. Could be, would be. Should be, maybe. Hey, I just wanted to thank you guys that are on here that have subscribed to my son's channel as well. Uh, that means a lot to him. It really does. Because uh, he, he building his little channel up by himself. He's learning to edit and everything. He's been watching me. He editing in some videos pretty damn good. I love it. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll send you that. I'll text you, yeah, yeah, in a little bit. Why is the sky blue? The sky is blue because of the reflection of the sun off of the ocean. Majority of the earth is covered by the ocean, and that way, that's what you actually see. But when you're in the sky, it doesn't look blue. If you've ever been on a plane, it doesn't look blue when you're there. It just looks blue when you look down. This is true. True stuff. True, true stuff. Just made that up. I don't know. <laughs> For sure, carrier, though. You be emailing me some stuff, carrier. Yeah, you be having me stunted. I be reading. I be like, Lord. If I can't read it in two swipes up, I, I got to sit down on a toilet and read. Okay. Y'all acting like y'all don't read stuff on a toilet. <laughs> anyway. Um, y'all be good. Y'all be easy. I'll have more information. Hopefully they don't ban my damn videos. I don't know what they got going on here. Really? I just read this, Kermit. Back in the 50s and 60s and early 70s, the MBS crab drivers did carry. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm going to have to find out if that's true. That's not a little Kermit Chapman. That sounds a little crazy, I ain't know. What's my son's channel? Um, in my last couple of videos, I have his channel pinned in the um, first comment. Um, it's and like I said, it's just so that he can get his one thousand subscriber mark. Um, and what he does from it there is, you know, he's just got to accumulate his watch hours. But he's, he's getting really close to it. Um, he has a smorgasbord of stuff. When we go to different, <laughs> it has a bunch of different things from when we go uh, to different amusement parks, video games, learning to ride bikes. He's just, just all around 
He's, 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 he's something else, man. Something else. That's what keep me young. Y'all get older in life. Go have a child. Y'all see all them damn pictures on my wall. I got eight grandchildren. My oldest son is going to be 31 this year. He's going to be 31. Look at me. That little dude keep me young. Sky is blue because it's reflecting off the carrier shirts. Okay. Okay. I get it. Anybody look up in the sky today? When you wasn't supposed to? <laughs> oh, man. You did, pumpkin? You, I know they said don't look straight at the sun. I'm going to just stare. Did some of this. You know, blind yourself. <laughs> so I can hyperlink it in the chat. Damn you, boy. Hold on one second. Let me find my son's channel. No, I can't. Let me see. Where is my son's channel? Give me one second. I found it. Boom. View channel. Boom. Share. Copy link. Boom. Boom. I don't know how to paste. Boom. There it is. I don't know if it popped up. Did it pop up? Or did I lose it? It didn't pop up? It blocked me. How about that? I'm typing on my own thing and it blocked me. Let me see. Paste. Boom. I did. Through King of Kings. Let me see. This is his channel. Paste. Boom. Try it again. Nope. Maybe. No. Guess it don't work. I don't know. Oh, can't figure it out. It keeps that's what I was saying. If you try to you to be hating on links. Yeah, no question. I can't even. See, I, how'd you do that? No. You know what? Let me see if I can log in there under him. <laughs> Here we go. Now we cooking with hot sauce. Subscription. My son ain't subscribed to me. It's a little chump. Oh, <laughs> about to say. There he is. Yes, maybe. Did that pop up? So activities and gaming with Abe's. That's that's the channel. So I think you can click on it. I don't know. Possibly.
I am the father. <laughs> oh. We got 59. I think I posted the correct link. No, you you posted my other channel. Oh, well, all you had to do was just, this is able sub there you go. This is crazy. Reading this thing with um, Brian Renfro, y'all president, says, our members are under more pressure these days as we serve our communities. As I've said, these events around the country, I've, as I've said at these events around the country, you used to be able to walk the mean streets and nobody mess with their letter carrier. Something has shifted in the recent years. Since 2020, there have been more than 2,000 crimes against letter carriers nationwide. Last year alone, 643 letter carriers were attacked or robbed while on the job, a 30% increase from the prior year. Most of these attacks involved a pew pew or another weapon, leaving our members shaken and fearful to do their jobs. When I talk to letter carriers who have been victims of this type of crime and those they work with every day, I notice the impact it has on their mental health. Our jobs are stressful enough due to poor management and the long hours we endure as a result of staffing issues in many locations. The crime we're expecting adds an immeasurable ability, immeasurably to an already difficult job is why we're fighting to a prolonged battle for a contract that rewards letter carriers for what we do under the most difficult circumstances we faced under the modern era. Our job is harder, more dangerous, and more important than it has ever been before. So that's the only thing he said that even refers to money indirectly. Rewards letter carriers for what we do under the most difficult circumstances. That's it. That's it. The newly introduced Protect Our Letter Carriers Act, blah, blah, blah. So. Johnny from a Michigan customer care agent. <laughs> What's going on? Michigan. No, yeah, yeah, that's not the one. Able is. You see activities with and gaming with Abe's? That's not the one. You posting the wrong channel. Anyway. <laughs> oh man. It's time for me to go. I gotta wake up in about five hours. There it is. That's the one. I don't know how to make this damn thing work. Anyway, y'all have yourself a great rest of your day. I got to 
try to get out of here, get to the shower, and pass on some information tomorrow. I got some more stuff to talk about. I got to let this YouTube algorithm try to get me out of it. These people banning me on silliness. I don't know. Y'all be good. We'll chat. Be safe. And we out. like that shirt right <laughs> oh god hey guys